Stay tuned and watch this end because it's going to be a very interesting and unique vlog. Let's go one time. Let's go. So we're getting ready to enter the chapel for the program, which will shortly begin. We are going to reach the chapel. It's an entrance. Mom and dad is taking their daughter to the church. Thomas and 
Mrs. A.S. Natural Paula. She joined the convent in the year 2014 after her high school studies. She hails from Christian Parish, Gingeroy Pullen, under the Archdiocese of Nipa. Accepting the divine call of the Lord and trusting in His greatness, she joined FCC. She hails from Dampu Tribe, and she is here to dedicate herself for the service of the Lord and His people. Her motto is to walk with Him closely. She takes her religious name as Sister Mariam Valenchon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great Father, Jesus Christ, and the love of God and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we are going to witness a beautiful service out of two young ladies who got totally for the rest of their lives in the service. God and His people. We are here witnesses to that ceremony. When we think about religious profession, the thought always comes to my mind. We are counter culture, Christianity, and especially the type of profession. The world is a selfish, individualistic, hedonistic, secular, the sense of excluding God from our lives. Where is Christianity? Give, take. Years back, I had the happiness of, yes, that is a three, four years, three years back, I had the happiness of uh, meeting the Lai Lama. Oh, I was so happy. Hey, you know, my people in Tamang district of Arunachal, they are becoming Christians. And why do we, why do you become Christian? What attracts you? Why do you Buddhist monks, you come and beg, give us, give us. Christian fathers give. That's how it is different. Yes, Christian Christianity is different. And more than especially religious profession. We give, take, and receive the what? Today, we ask God to strengthen the traditions of the two sisters. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Now, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. Just as Abraham offered his only son to God, these parents offer their beloved daughters to God and his people as they bless them. Let us all join them silently. As a sign of renunciation and detachment from the world and worldly things, the novices remove their crowns. The ornaments and give them to their parents. I present before you these novices, Sida and Mariam, whom we have trained and request you that they may be permitted to make for this profession the Franciscan Life congregation and to serve the Lord faithfully in the church. On behalf of the church, the celebrant asks the following questions to the novices 
so as to manifest before the assembly their willingness and joy in following Christ. My dear sisters, what do you ask of God and of His Church? Accepting the invitation of our Lord, who said, Renounce thyself, take up your cross, and follow me. We wish to lead a life of dedication and service to God and His Church by becoming a member of the Franciscan Clarus Congregation. As you wish to become members of the Francis Christian Congregation, I accept your desire to follow Jesus Christ in response to his will. The parents and all those present here witness and approve your decision. The Franciscan Clarus Congregation accepts you as its members. You now enter the group of the daring and heroic virgins. To identify yourself to the poor, humble, and crucified Christ. May you be the messengers of peace and joy. The novices bow down for the blessing. Father in heaven, you are the source of all holiness. The celebrant examines the intentions and readiness of the novices who are to dedicate themselves to God. Dear sister, you have come here with a desire to follow Christ more closely. I have you resolved to make your profession in the Christian and Christ congregation willingly, freely, after sufficient prayer and consideration, and with full knowledge of its implications. Yes, my Lord. It is with adequate knowledge and free will that we have taken this decision to be a member of the Franciscan Clarice Congregation. I do resolve with the help of God's grace to close union with Christ and His Church to undertake this consecrated life of charity which Christ our Lord and His Virgin Mother chose for themselves and persevere God and His people. Yes, I am, with the help of God. Following the example of Jesus Christ, who have given himself to us the God's love. Are you resolved to practice voluntary poverty in spirit and in truth, and to renounce self in total availability to God and man? Yes, I am, resolved. Following the footsteps of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who in accordance with the will of the Father, Humble himself unto death, death on the cross, I will resolve to offer yourselves as a sacrifice and perfect dedication through the vow of obedience. Yes, I am resolved. May who began this good work with you bring it to completion on the last day we meet Christ Jesus. May he bless you and strengthen you in his mercy to tread the path. We have chosen in accordance with the rules and the spirit of the Franciscan Clarice Congregation. And may he bless you to unite yourself more closely, sharing his death and resurrection in your daily life. Amen. The habits are given by to the novices by the provincial superior. Now the celebrant blesses the religious habits, which is an external sign of the religious consecration. The Lord our God, you graciously will to give new habits to these chosen ones to show the responsibility and greatness of their religious vocation. God bless these these habits and these what these virgins receive. And this dress helps them to be changed and to be new persons and thus become heirs of the kingdom of God. Amen. 
Now the novices retire for vesting.
I raise a heart in thanksgiving, as God has made us His own in the garden of ecstasy, accepting our humble offering of ourselves. Today is a new beginning in our life to raise the melody of praise and thanks and a day to recount His marvelous deeds in our life.